Hey guys, it's Linda Barr, your Denver North Realtor. We're gonna jump right into the nitty gritty of all that information, get all your questions answered, whether you're looking to buy, whether you're looking to sell, you're gonna dive into metrics. Not what I'm saying, not what Joe Blow says down the street. Um, metrics, metrics, metrics. You guys know I love putting out this content for you. I love giving you all the nitty gritty and all the fun stuff. I would love even more to help you with your real estate needs. So please drop a comment below, send me a message, let me know whether you're looking to buy or sell. I am here for you. And you of course, if you're not in Colorado, I have a great network of agents that I'm happy to refer you to. I am with EXP and the Wolfpack, but we have our own group right here, Wolfpack Elevation specifically. Colorado and the amazing thing about that is we partner with Megan Eller at First American Title. She is the account executive. She specifically sits down with our group to go over all this information and make sure that we are properly informed so that we can relay it right back to you guys so that our clients are armed with every piece of information when they go into a real estate transaction. Not only from the standpoint of our expertise, but utilizing these strategic partners that we get to work with who have a better understanding of how all these numbers work and how history and data and all of that stuff goes together. Because at the end of the day, real estate transaction can be a lot. You have all these moving parts when you're working with the lender, you're getting finances together, when you're working on actually purchasing the home, doing the contracts, going through the motions, you've got your real estate agent. And then we have different strategic partners that we utilize to gain that knowledge, gain that insight from an expert's point of view so that we can then relay it back to you guys. As you guys know that there has been a shift in the market or you should know if you've been watching my channel if you've been watching anything on social media you know that we've had a shift you know that this is happening on a daily basis and megan has been really thorough on her data to help give our group the appropriate expectation for our buyers and sellers we know that not anyone not myself not megan not predict the final outcome of how this market is going to unravel itself, but we can definitely use this data and information to help guide us. This market review for the Denver metro area is a report that is on attached single family homes and detached single family homes. Megan has done an awesome job. She's very thorough to get all this put together. As you can see, there's like 80 pages in here. I am not gonna hit every single one. We're just gonna be hitting on that key information that I think is great for you guys to know as you go through buying or home selling like I just want to touch base on this because sellers coming in saying, you know, is it a good time to sell? Buyers are coming in saying, is it a good time to buy? Well, it always is. Situation works for you. It depends. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody has something to do. You're ready to sell. It is a great time to sell. If you're ready to buy, it is still a great time to buy. At the end of the day, you're going to have to live somewhere. With the way rent is going and how everything is happening right now, your best bet is to sit down and figure out what is going to work for you. And I thought this was pretty cool because it's talking about how the market favors sellers more deeply than ever right now, not only seasonally, but historically. And the odds of selling medium days on market at the lowest levels of inventory and interest rates are the primary driving metrics forcing our market into an extended selling season. This market data that we're going to go through, you will see there's going to be points for a seller and good points for a buyer. The first thing that we are going to talk about is the DOM. If you're not sure what the DOM is, it is days on market. And this is going over the median days on market for homes pending right now. But right now in August, we are sitting at 18 is our market average where, you know, back in what, February. And I mean, this whole line, this isn't just a line of scribbles. This is literally four. Four, 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 four. We were at four. And then if you come all the way back to January of 2020, we were sitting at 29. This is pretty cool to see historically, like what's happening, where are we at? And right now we're gearing towards a more balanced market. Right now we're still in that average to normal market. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I actually just did one all about the difference because on the average market and the balanced market are two different things. If you guys want to know all about that, I will have a link to up here and kind of understand the differences and what is happening right now. <laughs>
Now we're gonna look at the market metrics. We are gonna look at all the average daily active right here. We have seen a huge jump since February. So like right here is where we are and here is where we were. We had a little over a thousand homes go on the market and now we are seeing well over 6,000 homes sale. What this is telling us February, January, February, well, actually February, February is even lower, really been climbing here in our listings. This is showing that the supply is really moving up and we can see it's really trying to catch up with that demand of buyers that we've seen, which is why we had so many over asking, which is why we had so many, you know, it was the, it was like a bidding war. You, you had to get to a showing right away. Um, <laughs> We were seeing all that craziness because our inventory is way, way, way down here. We need to be way, way, way up here. We are slowly but surely climbing, climbing, and climbing. Now we're gonna jump into active versus balanced market. And we're looking in those terms of a balanced market. There we are, where we need to be. We're sitting right at a 22.9% of where we would be to offset that demand. So to hit that balanced market, you guys watch my video on this balance, like the difference between the two, or if not, just remember that a normal or average market has about three to three and a half months supply of inventory. You can see right now we're sitting at about 6,600. We're gonna jump into showings and what's showings you know it's like when your realtor takes you out you see those awesome homes or if you're selling it's when they your listing agent calls you and say hey you gotta get out of your house so you can show it to some awesome buyers we are seeing now that the average showings per listing are currently about 2.1 percent showings per listings within the first week. So the total showings within the first week are running around 14,207. Back in February, we were seeing about 25.6, way up here. I don't know if you can see it right here, but that's way up here. And now we're way down here. And this is within the first week, guys, of listing your home. We've seen so many market changes since then on what's driving this down, you know, with interest rates availability we're getting you know more things are coming on the market you're going to get less because buyers are having better competition with more people putting their homes on the market so they have more inventory to check out um interest rates are now coming down so some of those buyers are coming back out but a lot of them had dipped out because they were either past where they wanted to be or they couldn't qualify where they wanted to be and they couldn't there's just so many factors that were driving these numbers down. Now we're gonna look at price reductions or price decreases. We are sitting at a 47.9%. So it's down here, but it's also over here on this wonderful chart that takes us from January 2020 to right now. This 47.9% is of the homes made price reductions that went on the market. And this is showing like no change, increase, decrease, all these. And then if we jump over to this slide, this is the size of price reductions for pending trends. Transaction. So the average reduction really sat here at the neg um, at negative 6.5%. It's like coming into this, like it's like going so low. Like they can only make the chart so low. Honestly, what is what is that doing? Price reductions are usually keeping yourself strategically in line with what's happening in the market. This 46,000 is kind of where the average of where, so like right here, reduction price. Now we're gonna talk about how much are they really decreasing the home. Reduction percentage with a negative 6.5%, which puts you roughly around 46,780 or 50,000. So they're basically reducing at $50,000 and that's so they can catch those extra pool of buyers. So if you have a buyer who's like max at 800,000, you have a, a pool of buyers who are in between the 750 and 800 range. And then you have another pool of buyers that are at the 800 and 500 range and you list at 799, then you're only going to get the pool of buyers that are going that are looking for 750 to 800. You're totally missing the whole pool of buyers that are going from 800 to 50. That's where we're getting that, you know, reduction of 
hey, instead of just reducing um, from a thousand, you know, up to five thousand, six thousand, ten thousand, whatever, you're doing a fifty thousand dollar increase to catch that, to do that offset. And this way, you're hitting both brackets instead of just the one. So price on the zeros instead of the nines. Okay, guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that this was very insightful. I hope it gave you a lot of information. If you have any questions about anything that we go over, or maybe something I didn't touch on, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said earlier, I am here to help you guys out. Make sure that you're gaining the knowledge wherever you choose to buy or sell. Just stay informed, do your research. Thank you in Denver, like I said or if you're in the Colorado area, or if you're not, give me a call because I have great agents all around the globe that I'm happy to for you guys too. So if I don't see you guys on Zoom or around Denver, I will definitely see you on my next video. Bye.